How's it going everybody, Justin to Gaming here, and today I want to talk about breakaways. Breakaways are tougher than they've ever been for goalies in the NHL series. Some of it is because of the wonky controls, but the biggest reason by far is the input lag. With the input lag, it makes it very difficult for goalies to keep up with skaters on breakaways. They can skate right past us for an easy goal. After practicing tons of breakaways in ESHL and in online shootouts, I'll give out some tips to help increase your chances to stop a breakaway and a few extra pointers that can help you decide how to play some situations. My first tip is about your starting position. Play too deep in the crease right off the bat, and you're going to leave some net open for a snipe. Start too far out of your net and the skater is just going to go right around you. Start somewhere in between and practice until you find the starting spot that's comfortable for you. Now that we have a good starting position, use precision movement if needed to track the puck carrier as he gets closer. But now we need to decide whether we want to be aggressive and challenge the puck carrier, or to retreat back in the crease. Your first option is the flying poke check. This is done with up on the left stick plus X for Xbox, or up in square for PlayStation. I find this move to be very useful as you can either stop the puck with your body, your long reach with the stick, and you have a chance to dislodge the puck by bumping into the skater. In my opinion, this is the most effective move among the desperation saves, but be careful how often you use it. Skaters will eventually figure it out if you use it over and over in a game, or if you face opponents that know you very well, so it's important to mix it up and keep them guessing. Another option is the spread eagle. This is done with down on the left stick plus X for Xbox, or down and square for PlayStation. The spread eagle is a useful retreat method, where you go to the back of the crease and use your legs to cover from post to post. This cuts off the low side of the net, and if the shooter gets too close, he won't be able to lift the puck over you on a shot. I find this move helpful against players that like to get really close to the net, but not necessarily at a wide angle. A third option is the manual poke check. This is done by pressing up on the right stick. This can be used as an aggressive and a retreat method, but find out what works for you. The manual poke check has been improved this year as your goalie will turn and angle himself towards the puck, where in previous games you could only poke ahead of him. The only time you should use the manual poke check is if they get really close to your net, almost inside the crease close. Just like any other desperation save, you miss, and it's usually an open net. A fourth and unusual option I've seen with some success is by pressing the cover-up button. On Xbox, this is called the Y-Dive. I don't know what it's called for on PlayStation, but I'm calling it the Tri-Dive since it involves the triangle button. This takes timing and a little bit of luck, but if you press the cover-up button at the right time, usually when the skater is at the hash marks, your goalie will dive at the skater, try and catch him off guard and take the puck away. The risk is, if you miss, it's a very easy goal. Personally, I'm not that great at this move, but I do know a few people who are really good at this, so maybe it'll work for you. Those are the desperation moves that can work, but now when it comes to playing it straight up, the main advice I can give is to move back in the crease and do your best to make a small move from there. One strategy I use is a small push of the right stick pointing towards the post. Now given the input delay, you will have to commit a little bit earlier than you want, and that is the main risk. If you have no clue what to do, an emergency method is simply playing back at the goal line and using small movements when reading the skater. You do leave the top of the net open for a snipe if they get too close, but your limbs also have a quick long reach so you will have a chance. Now that we know the moves, I want to talk about reading your defense in certain situations to help decide which move to use. There are times where your defenseman is chasing down the skater and he's right at his head. But because the defenseman has a chance to strip the puck, this will help you read where the skater is headed, and you can position yourself for an easy save. Here in this clip we have a defenseman directly behind the skater. This most likely means that the puck carrier can't slow down, otherwise he's going to risk losing the puck. Since there's a very good chance he's charging right at us, you have the option to use his speed against him and go with a flying poke check. Those are my tips for breakaway saves. Remember, breakaways and penalty shots are never your fault as a goalie. Just stay in the crease, do your best, Read the skater's momentum and see if you can use your defenseman to help guide them to one side of the net. Most importantly, don't get frustrated since in theory you only have a 50-50 shot. I hope this guide helps. Remember to click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe as well as follow me on Twitch and Twitter to stay updated on my channel. Any other breakaway tips, feel free to share them in the comments below and help each other out. I'm Justin to Gaming, and thanks for watching.